So guys, um, first off, we want to apologize for not posting in over a week, right? In two over weeks? a week, we two weeks. Okay, I was trying to be nice, but we have good reasons. Like you wouldn't even believe the reasons why we have been so busy and. Someone did voodoo, <laughs> and um, he caught us. Yeah, we have been yeah. having the worst two weeks ever. Yeah, it started with it started with my car, right? Yeah, it started with my car breaking down in the city. Um, and us having to figure out how to, how to get that up there. Then it came to you. I caught a bad flu that, um, set on my lungs. Um, um, who else? Olivia caught, um, an eye infection, a ear infection. Two ear infections, both ears. So bad that even her drums busted. Yeah. And she caught the flu. Um, Aliyah caught the stomach bug. Mm-hmm. Lord. Samira, Samira got sick. Samira have a tonsillitis. And I caught the worst case of pink eye I think I have ever seen in my life. Yep. Um, and yeah. Lorenzo. And Lorenzo, that is what this vlog is about. A day in our life, vlog number 40. So before we get into the vlog, we just wanted to say again, um, we're sorry for not posting. Hope you guys understand that. And let's get into the vlog. Enjoy. We did not enjoy the past week. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, it's about 10 o'clock at night. Andrea has been at the hospital with Lorenzo since about 4 p.m. And um, she's on her way to come back to pick me up so that I can go spend the night with him. Um, tomorrow he's having his operation. You have your lymph notes here and you have something under here. And um, both his lymph notes were, were swollen and they think he has a cyst under his um, tongue. So he was really, for like a week, he was really, really like swollen. He looked like one of the nutty, um, nutty professor family members. And um, we gave him, we, we, of course, we went to the doctor where the antibiotics ran out yesterday. And the minute he stopped taking it, it started to get swollen again. So we went to the doctor again this morning. And the doctor said that there's nothing he can do. He has to go, to, um, Lorenzo has to go to the hospital to have surgery. So I'm going there now to spend a night with him. So I'm going to go hang out with my little buddy. And um, tomorrow, Andrea's going to come back. And she's going to be there when Lorenzo wakes up. And I'll be there, of course, because he's going to get his operation, which I'm very... I don't want to say scared, but I mean, that's my, like, that's my son. That's my homie. So it's just really nerve wracking to know that he has to go through something like this. But I'm glad I'll be there for him and I'll be there when he wakes up and when he goes in there. So, yeah, we're about to head there now. So let's go do that. All right, guys. So it's 12 a.m. and I just got to the hospital. I checked in on Lorenzo and he's asleep, which is good. And they put me into a, into a little room next to Lorenzo because um, he has a roommate and his roommate is a 14 year old girl. So obviously I can't sleep in there with him, but I'm right next door. So that's OK. So I'm about to go to sleep. And then tomorrow morning, check on my little guy and hang out with him. This is a homage beat. guys so it's six o'clock in the morning um i went to bed at two lorenzo woke up at once around four but i guess he just had to pee so i took him to the bathroom because the bed is so high that he can't get out of it but anyway i took him to the bathroom and he went right back to sleep if you guys can see my eyes both of them are red and i can't even hold them open i guess that's how tired i am um i have my contacts in right now but andrea's bringing me my glasses i'm going to take the contacts out and put my glasses in and hopefully that helps and we're going to um, talk to the doctor later on and see what time he gets his surgery. And then we'll be back to let you guys know what's happening. So, Lorenzo, how do you feel? Mm, not so good. Not so good? Mm. Why not? Because I really have a Because you have an IV? That's weird, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You always got to walk around with that. Yes. How do you feel to be in the hospital? Not so good. Not so good? Mm. Why not? And because and have to eat even more. Cause you hate to having an IV. Mhm. Mm and it's weird to sleep somewhere else, right? Yes. But it's not that bad because there's always somebody here with you, right? Yeah, because because this hurt me first. Oh, it hurt, right? Yeah, because I was lying, not because I had 
pee uh -huh. because it hurts. You wasn't crying last night because you had to pee. You was crying last night because that hurts. Yes. Makes sense. <clears throat> Do you know what's happening? No. You know you have this thing on your throat, right? Yeah. Show me it. Yeah, right? You know they have to um, take that out, right? What? They have to take it out. What? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? They have to take it out. It's on it? Not your tongue. This thing. They have to take that out because that's not supposed to be there. See, I don't have that. See? No, because you had a beard. Because I have a beard. Huh. Okay. But they have to take that out. But it doesn't hurt. No. They take that out and then you're all better. Right? But not today. Not today. It takes a couple of days. Yes. But that's not bad, right? No. Think about it. You not at home with all the girls screaming and crying. No. That's not bad, right? But baby always cry when they take it out. Yeah, baby used to cry. But you're not a baby, right? No, I am a man. You're a man. Don't. If you guys can see here, it's, it's really swollen. And they say that's a cyst full of pus. So they have to cut it out. So guys, as you see, um, Lorenzo is being very brave. He sort of knows what's happening, but not really too much. But I don't want him to understand all of it because then he might get scared. But right now, I would say he's doing pretty damn good, and I'm proud of him. It looks fun. Look. Look at all that fun. All these different things you have to flip over and try to match. Your mother says she's on her way. Where? To here. To here, to the doctor. Yeah. She's on her way to the doctor to see you. I know that. You know that? How you know that? You got a cell phone? Yes. Where? In my pocket. Show me. In your pocket is a phone. Show me. It's in, your, it's, it's in your other pants pocket, right? Yeah. Don't ever tell that to your girlfriend. She will not believe you. Bruh. You have a girlfriend? Yes. How many girlfriends? Nine. You got three girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Player, player. What's their names? Alicia. Alicia is one. So many Alicia. Oh, they all named Alicia. Mm -hmm. That makes it easy. You'll never mess up calling one girl somebody else's name, right? Mm. Okay. Hey. Who what? I want to get on that ship. What? Can I, hey, wait a minute. How are you a will and you're talking? Where's your captain? I need a real person. Give me a captain. You're a will. I'm not talking to a will. There we go. Here's the captain. Hello, captain. Yes. How do I get on this ship with my horse? Um. Because you know I'm black. And the last time my people got on the ship, it did not turn out good. And um, come with me then. Come with you then. Okay. Wait. So, can my horse come on the ship yes. or not? It does. Okay. No, no. My horse cannot come on the ship. No. Okay, then I have to take my horse back to the stable. Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. So, where's this captain? Hey, Will. Mm -hmm. Go get the captain. Okay. I can only stand on his leg for a little bit. I need to take a seat. Oh. Oh. Hello, captain. Yes. How, how much does it cost to get on this ship? Um, two little pieces. Two euro? Mm -hmm. Okay, where does the ship go? Mm, anywhere to Grosvenor Garden. It goes to Grosvenor Garden? Yes. Hmm. I know people who live in Grosvenor Garden. Who? Uh, this little boy named Lorenzo, this really cool father named Louis, and his mama named Andrea, who's always complaining okay, that Louis don't do anything. Okay, then... What? Why are you falling on me? Okay, can you help me get up, please? What is this wheel? What do you? What are you doing here, Will? What do you want? I think it's weird. Help me get up, Captain. I can't get up without your help. Oh God, I gotta take help from a wheel. Um, oh, Captain, are you drunk? Oh my God, the Captain is drunk. Why did you fall over, Captain? Get up, Captain. Get the Captain up. Captain, oh, thank you. Okay, I get in there. Where do I sit? Oh, I need to take a break. Oh, oh you can sit. Where can I sit at? Um, on the sofa here. All the way on the sofa there? Yes. Okay. Hi, de ho. My name is Tina. Yeah. And I need to go to Mallorca. How yeah. much does it cost to get on this ship? 
Um, one deal. One euro? Yes. Hey, but you charged me two euro. Is it because I'm a guy? Yes. It is? Okay. And um, um, I'm Mason if one. So, guys are two euro and women are one euro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't have any change. Do you have change for a hundred euro bill? No. No? So what should I do to get on the chip? You will go to the next boat. Bruh. I have to go to the next boat? Mm -hmm. Oh, you suck. Knock, knock. Where's the captain then? I guess there's no captain. I just go on. You were sleeping? Yes. Oh, well, can I stay on the boat? Hello? Mm. Can I stay on the boat? Nope. Why can I not stay on the boat? Because you have to get some gold. Because I have to pay? Mm-hmm. How much does it cost? Two euros. Well, you know I'm a girl, right? Mm -hmm. And I heard that guys are two euros and girls are one euro. So why are you charging me Two euro. Yeah, because more, more noise and people are one year and big. Because when there's more people, you have to charge more. That sounds like some messed up supply and demand, and I'm not going to stand for it. I will give you one euro. Take it or leave it. Okay. You take it? Mm-hmm. Come get the money. Come get the money. Here is the one euro. Thank you, sir. Um, sir? Mm -hmm. Sir, yes. Captain, can I drive the boat? Um, please. No, only big people. I am know. big. I am big, really. I no, you're to... not bigger than me. I'm bigger. So what if you're bigger? You saying that small women can't do things that big men can do? Is no. that what you're saying? Yeah. Because you know you should say no. Because if you say that, YouTube is going to be very mean to you, Lorenzo. So say yes. Women can do the same thing as men. Nice, nice. No? Uh, are you a chauvinistic pig, Lorenzo? Mm -mm. No. So I ask again, Captain, yeah. can I drive the boat? <sighs> okay. Thank you. Okay, ready? So, first we gotta start flipping them all over, right? Oh, I'm gonna take one last minute. Nah, you didn't finish all of them. But I guess they all finished now. No. No? Another one? What? Okay, now we gotta spread. What is this? We don't need that. No. So then we gotta spread them out. Oh, the next thing we need is we need to see the picture. Can't make a puzzle if you don't know what you're doing, right? So, we got the picture, right? Put it right there by the camera. Nobody else can see it. So guys, we just spent 10 minutes trying to sort out this puzzle just to realize that it is three puzzles in one and there's not enough pieces to even finish one puzzle. So we're gonna give this up and look for a different a different game, right? Okay. Two hours later. So the mommy is there now. Say hi, mommy. Hello. Are you having fun? Can't hold myself. So much fun. Look at her stomach. Turn to the side. Look how big her stomach just, just got. That's crazy, right? I Turn. swallowed watermelon seeds. What? I swallowed watermelon seeds. Turn to the side of shit. So we just came back and got a good surprise that we now have the room to ourselves. The person, who, the baby who was in here before, him and his mother, moved to a different room. I guess she was complaining about us, which I'm not sure why she was complaining about us, because she was the one with the crying baby and bothering us all types of night and being all out, but... You know how some people are, they just want everything for themselves. So her being a stuck up asshole gave us a room to ourselves. So we're good now. Six and a half hours later. So guys, it's 8 p.m. and I just got to the hospital and I am relieving Andrea from her shift so she can go home and Rest, sleep, sleep, and then she'll be back tomorrow to relieve me. Lorenzo is sleep or not? I guess he heard my voice. 
He's over here. Are you awake? He has a big smile on his face because his favorite person. I'm black as shit. He has a big smile on his face because the favorite person in the world is here. Me. Hi. Hello. Hello. You alright? You wanna go pee? I wasn't here. That's where I sleep at, in case anybody cares. Looks comfortable, right? I actually broke one of the things on the bottom of it. Of course you did. Excuse me? I said, of course you did. This what? bed's probably 20 years old. You broke it. <laughs> <laughs> like 10,000 of fathers and mothers slept on this bed. You and, broke it. First and, night. <laughs> it wasn't the first night. It was the, the second. second. Sorry. Yeah, the first one I almost broke it though. Mm -hmm. But we know how good I am at breaking beds. Ha 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 ha. You remember that? <laughs> Alright guys, this is day number two. Lorenzo is still in the hospital. Um, he just got done doing another ultrasound and the doctor said we have to wait again because he's not sure if um, it's getting smaller or if it's getting bigger. So oh, yeah. Or bigger, yeah. So, look, so we have to wait till tomorrow to do another ultrasound to see what the doctor says to do. I mean, Andrea is starting to get really pissed off, which I started to understand. Like, you know you have to take it out, so why don't you just take it out? Like, there's no way around it. So why, what does it matter if you if you take it out today or if you take it out in two weeks? Just take it out so we can be done. I mean, he's a four-year-old boy, so staying in a hospital where he can't do anything and not have any fun and be away from his family is kind of, um, let's just say it's starting to get to him. So anyway, we're in the playroom now, and he's playing for now. And we're going to wait on his mother, Andrea, to come, and then I could go home and get some sleep and finish doing some homework. <music> So after three days of trying to get Lorenzo to play memory with me, he finally decided to play. And you're about to lose. Because I'm the best. I'm the best. No, you're not. I'm better than you. I'm you, bigger. I'm smarter. You can cheat then. I'm cheating? You can cheat then. I'm not going to cheat. No, oh, you, you can I'm going to cheat then. Is that a threat? Uh-huh. This little boy just threatened me. Can you believe that? He thinks he's going to beat me in memory. Not going to happen, little son. Not going to happen. Oh, in case you guys can see, my eyes are doing a lot better. I got some um, antibacteria drops yesterday. So I still look like a crazy ass monster, but not as much as yesterday where people yeah, were. Yeah, because you're at all. Because your eyes are a little bit nasty. Yeah, but they not like they was yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday it was scary. Now it's just weird. I look high. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You got your chocolate, got your juice. Now I'm about to beat them. Mm -hmm. So, sir, I'm not taking it easy on you because you're a kid. I don't care. I beat kids. Ask your sisters. So you know how to play memory? You gotta find the two pigs, or the two frogs, or the two sheep, or whatever, okay? I'm sure we played this before. On my phone, right? Mm-hmm. You did. I'm not gonna cheat. You're a four-year-old. You can't beat me anyway. Okay, you ready? You go first. Pick one card, flip it over. Okay, now find the cow. You think it's there? Let me see. A horse and a cow. That's not the same, is it? He's about to lose. Frog and a cat. What? That's not nice. A frog? And a frog. Oh my god. <coughs> what? No. No. Okay, let's put him on top here. Okay, you get to go again. Go. Oh, I know what that chicken is. I know what a chicken is. I know what it. Nope. That's a dog and a chicken. Move. My turn. Chicken. Chicken. Ha ha. Bam. Nah, my turn. No. Yes. Okay. You're okay Sheep. Oh, and a cow. Uh oh. My turn. My turn. A cow and a. Uh, Where did we see the other cow at? It was somewhere over here. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's a sheep. Uh oh, not right. So, a horse and a sheep. Uh oh. Do you know what the other sheep is? Mm. You just have a sheep somewhere up here, right? A sheep and I. Well, what? No, only one. Look at you trying to. He trying to cheat. 
What was that? A cow. Okay, so I, I gave you chances. I tried to help you out. So we got a sheep and a sheep. I tried to help you out. Cow and a dog. Uh -oh. Uh huh. Well, wasn't the cow over here somewhere? And, and a cow. Oh my God. Good job. All right, guys. In the middle of playing memory, they brought Lorenzo's food, so he's about to eat lunch now. Which yesterday he spit it out and said it was nasty, and that we cook better at home. So hopefully we have a better chance now. Ooh, what is that? Pancakes? Oh yes. I Don't close. It. Don't close it. Okay. It smells like pancakes. Yeah, right. Mhm. Mm it's something inside. Baked apples. So pancakes with baked apples. That's mm -hmm. good, right? Mm-hmm. You can eat that. And the pan also gets food, so let's see what they gave me. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Fish, spinach, and some potatoes. None of that I'm going to eat, but still. Oh, and a salad, which I will eat, but... Andrea is bringing me food and she's almost here, so yeah, I'll eat the salad though. So guys, Andrea is here now. Um, we just got back from doing an ultrasound where they looked at his throat and they pretty much said the exact opposite of what they said yes um yesterday. Yep. They said that it is no um liquid pus. in it, pus in there. So they have to wait for another couple of days to see if it gets bigger or smaller. Mm -hmm. See what they're gonna do. So Lorenzo has to sit here for a few days doing nothing. Just yeah. making money, I guess. Exactly. So I'm, I can need an operation for sure. They just want to wait a little bit now. So yeah, I'm gonna head home and handle the girls. Hopefully, take a nap to get my eyes. Like y'all see my eyes. Andrea said they're getting better, but they look they like do. they look crazy as shit. I don't even know what that is. They look better. But they, I keep getting watery. Anyway, yeah. So Andrea has this shift now. Yeah. Hopefully, she vlogs some. Yeah. I'm a little heated already. Why? Hmm? Why? It's a weird hospital. Why is it weird? Every doctor says something else. Well. The nurse is kind of unfriendly. Oh. So just for us to stay. Just for Louis to stay in the closet and eat some dry bread. Stay in the closet. Don't say stay in the closet because <laughs> it'll be like I'm coming out the closet. It's 48 euro a night. So yeah. Yeah. So of course we gotta wait with the operation a little bit. Gotta make that money. All right, guys, so we're headed back home. As you see behind me, Lorenzo is with us. He seems very happy. Andrea is pissed, <coughs> off. Andrea is pissed off at the world, right? Say something. <laughs> Look how angry she looks. She's like everybody, the lady at the grocery store, the lady at the medicine store, the dude driving in front of us, the dude driving behind us. No, the lady at the grocery store disrespected us by not even saying hello. And the lady at the medicine store? What? The apotheca. I think she didn't want to order the medicine. So, we're headed back home. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Um, we will do another vlog when Lorenzo goes back to the hospital for his surgery. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, leave them down below. Don't forget to like. Oh, and you should tell him what it is. What? What, what happened? So Lorenzo has a throat cyst, which is in between his tongue and his Lorax? Thyroid. Thyroid. And they have to just two, milli oh, please be quiet. two millimeters over his larynx. Just two millimeters over his larynx and they have to cut it out. And um Yeah. Um I'm in school for nutrition, which has a lot to do with the body. So I learned a lot about cancer and certain and certain things like that. Andrea is a nurse, so she's very well equipped with the knowledge of cancer and we both have a fear that the doctors aren't telling us certain things because it sounds like it could be throat cancer which we pray to God that pray that it's not and the doctors aren't giving us a real straight answer but I guess we just have to wait and see right they want to do an autopsy on it right they want to do a biopsy on it they would do that if they wouldn't have any thoughts yeah Besides that, they didn't tell us that that cyst or whatever it is, is connected to his main arteria. His main artery, yeah. The carotids, which the, is that the here. The carotid artery, yeah. yeah. The, the big one here that pumps through your whole body. So 
now you can figure out the risks about this operation. So yeah, he stays home from kindergarten for the next two weeks because his appointment is in two weeks for his um, surgery. And we pray that everything goes good. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.